The May 20th, 2021 meeting of the Woodbridge Township Board of Education will please come to order. Roll call, Mr. Secretary. Ms. Bourdain. Here. Mr. Delapetro. Here. Mr. Harris. Here. Mr. Molnar. Present. Mr. Sedana. Here. Mr. Trebowasser. Here. Mr. Velez. Here. And Ms. Anderson. Here. Mr. Secretary, please note that Mr. Tamborello will not be here tonight due to a personal matter. So noted. Mr. Secretary, as required by the Sunshine Law, please read the notice of meetings. Thank you, Madam President. The New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend the meetings of public bodies at which any business affecting their interest is discussed or acted upon. In accordance with the provisions of this act, the Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be published by having the date, time, and place thereof posted as follows. On January 11, 2021, it was emailed to the Home News Tribune, the Star Ledger, and the Municipal Clerk's Office, posted in Ross Street School Number 11 and the Board of Education Administration Building. It was also published on the school district website. Mr. Velez, please read the closed session statement. Thank you, Madam President. I would like to motion for the approval of the following closed session statement. In compliance with the Sunshine Law, the board must go into closed session in order to discuss subjects exempted from the public portion of our meeting. The discussions to be held in closed session will be regarding personnel matters. Additionally, the board will be reviewing the superintendent's evaluation. Lastly, the board will receive attorney-client advice regarding real estate matters. Any information regarding the closed session discussion will be released to the public when the reasons for discussing these matters in closed session no longer exist. I have a motion by Mr. Velez. Second. Seconded by Mr. Trebowaza. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carried. Please rise for the salute to the flag and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do I have a motion to reconvene? So motion. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Molnar, seconded Second. by Mr. Della Petro. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Roll call, Mr. Secretary. Ms. Bourdain? Here. Mr. Della Petro? Here. Mr. Harris? Uh, yes, I'm present, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Molnar? Here. Mr. Sedana? Here. Mr. Trebowasser? Here. Mr. Velez? Here. Ms. Anderson? Here. Will someone make a motion to approve the minutes of the previous meetings? A motion. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Harris, seconded by Mr. Della Petro. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Mr. Secretary, please state for the record any notice of bids received by the board. Thank you, Madam President. On April 23, 2021, IFB 22-04, TI calculators are equivalent. On April 27, 2021, IFB 22-03, ink and toner cartridges. April 28, 2021, IFB 22-05, Friedrich window air conditioning units. April 29, 2021, IFB 22-07, lumber hardware and industrial supplies. April 30, 2021, IFB 22-13, furnished and installation of replacement doors and hardware. May 4, 2021, IFB 22-02, Physical Education Supplies and Equipment, May 6, 2021, IFB 22-11, Boiler Inspection, Cleaning, Maintenance, and Repair, May 18, 2021, IFB 22-09, Asphalt Paving and Resurfacing, May 19, 2021, IFB 22-10, Food Service Equipment Repairs, and on May 20, 2021, IFB 22-12, Asbestos Abatement. Thank you. Mr. Secretary, please state for the record the superintendent's reports for the month of April 2021. Thank you. I present the following monthly reports. The student registers and fire drill report, suspension report for elementary and secondary schools, bomb threat reports, and the reports of the attendance officers. Mr. Secretary, please introduce our student representative from John F. Kennedy Memorial High School, Maylock, Mawafi. Thank you. Passionate and diligent, Malak Mawafi, 
I apologize, has grown into a leader. Describing herself as a quiet middle school student, she never considered owning the leadership qualities she has exhibited throughout her time at John F. Kennedy Memorial High School. In reflection, she is proud of who she has become with the help of her coaches, teachers, classmates, and teammates. Academically, her transcript puts her in the top 10% of her graduating class, which illustrates her academic strength and outstanding work ethic. She is captain of two athletic teams and holds two officer positions in honor societies. We are proud that Malak is going on to play women's basketball at Penn State Skykill, as basketball is her passion and she is excellent at managing her time. She will be missed on the campus of JFK Memorial High School. Thank you. Um, for school 19, PBSIS celebrated positive behavior by having a school-wide dance party on May 5th. Both in-person and remote students participated. 10 of their third grade families participated in family math program. The PTO sponsored a mystery reader on Tuesday nights. And the National Elementary Honors Society induction ceremony was held on May 13th. For school number 29, Jessica Shivastov was selected to participate in Young Poets Night. Five virtual students entered their videos in the Redford Center Stories Contest. Mudit Shamponari won the Most Heart Award. 50 trees will be planted and a $75 donation will be made in Mudit's name to a nonprofit organization of his choice. Pranav Sundaram received the High Distinction Award. 50 trees will also be planted and a $75 donation will be made in Pranav's name to a nonprofit organization of his choice. Iman Shahzad has been recognized for his participation and a tree will be planted in honor of Iman. Abhai Shindi has been recognized for his participation and a tree will also be planted in honor of Abhai. Ananya Sriram has been recognized for her participation and a tree will also be planted in honor of her. 20 second grade families virtually participated in the family math program. For Ford's Middle School, 91 new members were inducted into the National Junior Honor Society on May 7th. The students have signed the school's new anti-racism pledge, which is displayed on a bulletin board near their main entrance. Each morning, a student reads the anti-racism pledge and unpacks its meaning for the entire school over the PA system. And for John F. Kennedy Memorial High School, 64 students were inducted into the National Honor Society on April 27th. 19 students were inducted into the Spanish Honor Society on April 29th. On April 15th, the first Chinese Honor Society inductions were held. 52 students were inducted into the English Honor Society on May 18th. Senior Awards Night will be held on Tuesday, May 25th, where 80 students will receive almost $40,000 in scholarships. Senior Week for the Class of 2021 will consist of Senior Sunrise on June 14th, a Senior Yearbook event on June 15th, a Senior Car Decorating event on June 16th, the Prom at the Delta Hotels on June 17th, and their graduation on June 18th at 1 p.m. More events and celebrations can be watched on the JFK MHS TV on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Mawafi, and welcome to our meeting. Thank you. Tonight, we will return to the inviting public comment at the conclusion of each agenda. Please come to the microphone, state your name, and the section of the township in which you reside. Comments at the conclusion of the agenda should be limited to that particular agenda. Please do not exceed five minutes of commentary as per regulation number 1100D. Superintendent's agenda, Mr. Wolferman. The superintendent's agenda has 22 items to present to the board. I move for the adoption of the foregoing. I have a motion by Mr. Trebwazer. Do I have a second? Second. By second. Mr. Del Petro. Are there any comments and questions from the board? Are there any comments or questions from the public? Roll call, Mr. Secretary. Ms. Bourdain. I will be abstaining under the name of Susan Bourdain on item 16 and yes on all others. Mr. Delapedro. Yes. Mr. Harris. I'll be abstaining on item number 16 in the name Daniel Harris and voting yes on the remaining agenda. Mr. Molnar. On item number 16, I will abstain in the name of Brian Molnar, yes on all other items. Mr. Sedana. I'll be abstaining under the name of Sher Sedana. Rest, yes on the rest of the items. Mr. Trebwasser. I will be abstaining in the name of Jonathan Trebwasser on item 16. Yes on all other items. Mr. Velez. 
I will also stay on item number 16. In the name of Joseph Velez, yes, and all other, other items. And Ms. Anderson. Madam President, I will uh, opt to abstain uh, on item number 16 in, in the name of Frank Del Petro. Sure. So noted. And Ms. Anderson. Yes. So, I, so item number 16, I will abstain in the name of Murray Anderson. Thank you. Got it. Thank you. Policy and planning. Mr. Harris. Thank you, Ms. Anderson. Policy and planning committee on recommendation of the superintendent of schools presents the following seven items. I move to the adoption of the foregoing. I have a motion by Mr. Harris. Second. Seconded by Mr. Trebwasser. Are there any comments or questions from the board? President Anderson? Mr. Harris. Right, thank you. I, I was uh, asked by a colleague to mention uh, an item under the policy and planning agenda. It's not an official agenda item, but a reminder to the parents and guardians that Tuesday, June the 8th, will be a all remote day, an all virtual day, uh, due to the primary election. 16 of our 25 schools are uh, voting sites. So in the interest of uh, safety and security, uh, they will, it will be an all remote day on Tuesday, June the 8th. Thank you much, Board Dan, for reminding me. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Are there any comments or questions from the public? Roll call, Mr. Secretary. Ms. Bourdain. Yes. Mr. Delapetro. Yes. Mr. Harris. Yes. Mr. Molo. Yes. Mr. Sedana. Yes. Mr. Trebowasser. Yes. Mr. Velez. Yes. Ms. Anderson. Yes. Curriculum agenda, Mr. Trebowasser. Thank you, Madam President. The Curriculum Committee on Recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools and the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction presents the following 12 items. I move for the adoption of the foregoing. I have a motion by Mr. Trebowasser. Second. Second. Second by Ms. Bourdain. Are there any comments or questions from the board? Are there any comments and questions from the public? Yes, good evening. Uh, Tom Maris, Forge, New Jersey. Uh, looking through it, and I don't see it anywhere particularly mentioned, so I'll just ask a question in general about the curriculum. Is any of the curriculum currently, or is there any plans to be inclusive of critical race theory in the teaching within our school district? Is that your only question? That's the question. So we are revising our curriculum to make sure that it includes a diversity and equity and inclusion uh, module to it. Is there something published that the parents uh, can look at or any member of the community to see what that curriculum entails? Have you got it published? Is there an outline? Not at the moment. When will there be? Um, I don't have a time frame, but it'll be soon. You're planning on introducing it in the fall semester? I don't have a time frame at the moment. Okay. Um, so what you can do is you can call the superintendent yes. and see if he can give you a, a time frame. All right. Yeah, I can submit that through an offer or give him a call. Um, and, and let me just take a quick aside. Uh, I, I know the struggles and pains the board went through to erect the school. Kudos to you. It's beautiful. I walked in. I was truly impressed. It welcomes students, faculty, anybody coming in to see it. You did an outstanding job, and you deserve a lot of credit for it. I know there was things that were said back and forth, but you did well. And thank you so much for doing this for our town and for our kids. Thank you. Roll call, Mr. Secretary. Ms. Bourdain. Yes. Mr. Delapetro. Yes. Mr. Harris. Yes. Mr. Molnar. Yes. Mr. Sedana. Yes. Mr. Trebowasser. Yes. Mr. Velez. Yes. Ms. Anderson. Yes. Finance and insurance, Mr. Harris. Sure. Uh, thank you, Madam President. The Finance and Insurance Committee on recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Business Administrator presents the following 16 items. I move the adoption of the foregoing. I have a motion by Mr. Harris. Second. Second. Seconded by Mr. Trebowasser. Are there any comments or questions from the board? President Anderson? Mr. Harris. Yeah, I, I did have uh, one uh, recognition and, and one question. Uh, I'll start with the recognition. Item number 16, uh, under the Alyssa's law, 
that was passed by the New Jersey legislature a few years ago and tied to the Securing Our Children's Future Bond Act. It was a ballot question on the November 2018 ballot, uh, ballot uh, that the residents of the state of New Jersey were, were smart enough to, uh, to vote yes on. It provided $250 million for, for security grant uh, money. And here we are uh, at long last. Uh, the money is now available to us and uh, the district will be taking in $776,000 under that grant. And a big part of that uh, credit goes to Mr. Wolferman, as well as uh, our security coordinator, Brian Small, who coordinated and made sure that we were eligible for, this actually, part of this is actually reimbursement for work we already did, as well as uh, an additional amount of money for, uh, for, for additional upgrades that we could do from a security standpoint. So I just want to recognize uh, the administration for making that happen. So thank you very much. Oh, and then my question was, since we do not have a technology agenda this evening, and uh, I wanted to follow up on this, the status of the Chromebooks that we were waiting for from, from <coughs> SHI has, I thought we were going to make a decision this month to uh, cut bait on waiting for those and, and go with a, a new product, if I'm not mistaken. I was just curious as to the status of those Chromebooks that we were waiting uh, for a few months on. I know there's a shortage of microchips and all kinds of other challenges. I'm just curious what the status of that was. Mr. Wolfram, do you know the status of the Chromebooks? Um, Mr. Harris, I will have to get back to you on that. Okay, yes, because cool. Mr. Yeah, Bader's not here today. Okay, sure. Understood. Thank you. Sure. Are there any comments or questions from the public? Again, Tom Maris, Boards New Jersey. I love the new acoustics in here, too. No more air conditioning noise. Sounds great. Um, item number two on the finance and insurance. Uh, I don't see it particularly listed here, but something's coming to my attention, and I guess the easiest way to ask this, is there any outstanding uh, balances due from the township to the Board of Education regarding a bond debt? Um, someone had mentioned to me that there's about $5 million that's I don't want to say it's necessarily in arrears, but is there an open amount that has to be repaid to the school district from Woodbridge Township Municipality? Mr. Wolfman. Uh, Mr. Maris, um, currently uh, on our books, there are no outstanding uh, debt balances. Okay. Um, as you're aware, I think I submitted a request, an open request for the bond transactions since 2012 going forward. Um, would one find one in there? Let me rephrase that. At any point in time during, since 19, I'm sorry, 2012, uh, was there a delay in get, receiving payments from the Woodbridge Township Municipality to the school district on a bond? Mr. Wolfman. Yeah. Mr. Maris, um, we are still collecting that information for you and we're having our uh, lawyers review it as well. Okay, thank you, I appreciate that. Roll call, Mr. Secretary. Ms. Bourdain? Yes. Mr. Delapietro? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Molnar? Yes. Mr. Sedana? Yes. Mr. Trebowasser? Yes. Mr. Velez? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. <clears throat> Security and school safety, Mr. Velez. Okay. Thank you, Madam President. Security and school safety committee on recommendations of superintendent schools present the following three items, and I move for the adoption of the foregoing. I have a motion by Mr. Velez. Second. Seconded by Ms. Bourdain. Are there any comments or questions from the board? Are there any comments or questions from the public? Roll call, Mr. Secretary. Ms. Bourdain. Yes. Mr. Delapietro. Yes. Mr. Harris. Yes. Mr. Molnar. Yes. Mr. Sedana. Yes. Mr. Trebowasser. Yes. Mr. Velez. Yes. Ms. Anderson. Yes. Athletics and extracurricular, Mr. Molnar. Thank you, Madam President. The Athletics and Extracurricular Committee on the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools and the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction presents the following. Tonight, I'll be moving four items. I have a motion by Mr. Molnar. Second. Seconded by Mr. Trebowasser. Are there any comments or questions from the board? Madam President. Mr. Molnar. Just a quick comment. Congratulations to all our award recipients that we are even able to have a season. Um, so it's great to see that we are giving out this recognition for actually having some sort of normalcy, you know, playing, um, you know, 
contributing to athletics and extracurriculars. So it's just want to congratulate all our recipients. Very nice. Are there any comments or questions from the public? Roll call, Mr. Secretary. Ms. Bourdain? Yes. Mr. Delapetro? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Molnar? Yes. Mr. Sedana? Yes. Mr. Trebowasser? Yes. Mr. Velez? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Buildings and Grounds, Mr. Harris. Thank you, Madam President. The Buildings and Grounds Committee and recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools and Business Administrator present the following eight items. I move the adoption of the foregoing. I have a motion by Mr. Harris. Second. Seconded by Mr. Trewazer. Are there any comments or questions from the board? Mr. Harris. Uh, it's actually not, not germane to the agenda. Uh, our student representative, I've just noticed you don't have an, uh, an agenda here for you. I'll, I'll grab that for you. And uh, I feel bad. You know, we're, we're reading off this agenda. You, you don't know exactly what we're voting on here. So uh, thank you, Peg. I, I really appreciate that. So I, I just wanted to point that out, that uh, the student rep didn't have a, a Thank agenda. you, Mr. Harris. So, right. Thank you, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Rooney. Are there any comments or questions from the public? Tom Maris, Sports, New Jersey, um, on buildings and grounds. Mm -hmm. uh, there's currently plans, I believe, for schools four and five to be moved from their current location. Well, not physically the building, but the students transferred to what will be a, a new school site over in Avenel. Um, is there any problem currently with the soil conditions on the intended site for the new building? And if so, what is the nature and seriousness of anything that's there and uh, what's being done if needed to remunerate the uh, soil conditions? Is that an agenda item? It's not on the agenda. So, Mr. Maris, that, uh, your question is not on this agenda. All right, I'll hold it in advance till we have the open sure. session. Sure. Thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I should ask it while it's still in that particular topic of buildings and grounds, but again, I'll No, it needs it. to be an itemized agenda item to okay. ask thank the you. question during the agenda. Roll call, Mr. Secretary. Ms. Bourdain? Yes. Mr. Delapedro? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Molnar? Yes. Mr. Sedana? Yes. Mr. Trebowasser? Yes. Mr. Velez? Yes. And Ms. Anderson? Yes. Transportation, Mr. Delapetro. Thank you, Madam President. The Transportation Committee and recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools and the Business Administrator slash Board Secretary presents the following 30 items. I move for the adoption of the foregoing. I have a motion by Mr. Delapetro. Second. Seconded by Mr. Trebowasser. Are there any comments or questions from the board? Are there any comments or questions from the public? Roll call, Mr. Secretary. Ms. Bourdain? Yes. Mr. Delapetro? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Molnar? Yes. Mr. Sedana? Yes. Mr. Trebowasser? Yes. Mr. Velez? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Personnel, Mr. Molnar. Thank you, Madam President. The Personnel Committee on the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools and the Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources presents the following. Tonight, I'll be moving 22 items. I have a motion by Mr. Molnar. Second. Seconded by Mr. Trebowasser. Are there any comments or questions from the board? Are there any comments or questions from the public? Roll call, Mr. Secretary. Ms. Bourdain? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Molnar? Yes. Mr. Sedana? Yes. Mr. Tamborello? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Trebowasser? Yes. Mr. Velez? Yes. Mr. Delapetro? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Ms. Backbone, do you have any recommendations? Uh, no, not this one. Is there any old business that should be brought to the attention of the board? Is there any new business that should be brought to the attention of the board? So now we will go to move to our public comment section of the meeting. 
If you wish to say something, please come to the microphone, provide your name and the section of the township in which you reside for the record. Please limit your comments to no more than five minutes in accordance with regulation number 1100D. No response will be given until you have fully completed all of your comments so as not to interrupt your five minute opportunity to speak. For those residents who were unable to attend tonight's meeting in person, you can email your comments to superintendent at woodbridge.k12.nj.us. Thank you. Tom Maris, Ford's New Jersey. Uh, let me restate the question I addressed earlier when we were talking about the uh, <coughs> buildings and grounds. Uh, again, it goes back to if there's any uh, soil or other contaminants problems with the new site where the school for the current four and five schools is going to be built. That's question number one. Um, question number two is a matter of uh, protocol. And it relates to how was um, Dr. Zega's replacement selected? Was there open invitations for people to apply for the position? If so, when and where was that posted? And were any candidates, and I'm sure we have a very good replacement coming forward uh, for Dr. Zega, but were any of the candidates from questions from minority group interviewed that were part of a minority group? Third question, it's actually more of a statement, but I wish um, we, we, I could find books like this in our school. I'm kind of plow through it right now. It's called The Naked Communist. And it's highly praised. It was written back uh, quite some time ago. It's in the uh, Library of Congress. It's been praised by such notables as Re President Ronald Reagan and George Meany, who was the head of the AFL-CIO for maybe one or two of us here that might be old enough to remember who he was. Um, he ran the AFL-CIO for over 40 some odd years. Brilliant man, tough guy, but he warned about the dangers, and he was the president of the union, of communism. Uh, I would hope that we have books similar to this that will also go forward to our kids to teach them about the dangers of communism, dangers of Marxism, and how it really rates, relates to things that are happening today. And uh, quickly, if I can read the quick passage from George Meany, the conflicts between communism and freedom is the problem of our time. It overshadows all other problems. This conflict mirrors our age, its toils, its tensions, its troubles, and its tasks. On the outcome of the con this conflict depends the future of all mankind. I say that's a brilliant statement. And if it was true then, it's even more true today. So that's my two questions. Well, actually three. I'd like to know if anything, even approaching the quality of this book, is out there for our students. So as an offset to the things that we're now talking about with uh, critical race theory. Can you adjust those, please? Is that all your questions? Uh, yes, that was the three questions. OK. Thank you. Ms. Blackburn, could you please answer the question about four and five? Oh, as to four and five right now, um, it's all under investigation and under review. And the district will take whatever actions that it deems is necessary to make certain um, that the school and property is safe for students. If I may, when you say under investigation, are we having people there checking the soil? Is that what you're talking about? Right now, we're at the beginning stages of doing the I'm review. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Right now, we're at the, the redeveloper okay. is still in the process of complying with the redevelopment agreement. Okay. So I'm sure that I can open that information then. Excuse me? I can open that information. Uh, it's actually the redevelopment agreement is actually online. Um, so you can actually look at the redevelopment agreement on the Woodbridge Township. Okay. Uh, it's the Silver Oaks uh, redevelopment plan. Silver Oaks, thank you. Got it. For the question in reference to the superintendent, yes. we had a well-qualified internal candidate who was our assistant superintendent who was promoted. Mm -hmm. So no outside and no looking at any minority groups. You just did it from inside. And again, that's not the cast dispersion on the good doctor. I'm sure he's a brilliant man. He's going to do a great job. It's just a matter of policy and principles. 
particularly in today's age, when we're trying to go for diversity, and we don't even go outside to give other people a chance at these key positions within our town. So in reference to the key positions of diversity tonight, the board just approved a full-time position of the Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Right. That way so that we are also showing that we are opening the doors and making our administration diverse. And what will that person be doing exactly? Is there a job The job description is posted on the personnel agenda. Okay. But if we're doing that, why was it not done for the superintendent of schools? I answered the question about the superintendent of schools. Just wanted to hear you repeat it. Thank you. Um, and again, the, the next question would be books such as the one I just referred to. Do we have within our library, whatever libraries we have left in the schools, at least in the curriculums that would address the dangers of communism and what that will do to this country? So are you recommending this book to us, Mr. Uh, Maris? I certainly am, yes. I'd be glad to send okay. you that information, the publisher, and so on. Okay. And at least have the board, proper people look at it and see if it's worth including in some curriculum or make it available to, to students. It's, it's, a, it's a great offset. It's a slow read, and trust me, at my age, it was kind of like skiing through molasses, but uh, it's worth reading. Okay, thank you for your comment. Thank you, mm -hmm. and thank you for, again, the excellent job that you've done with this school and continue I'm sure to develop the school. One last quick question, if I may. Um, is there any oh, plans time's for up, having? Mr. Maris, for the uh, five oh, I'm sorry, summer school. Mr. Secretary, do you have any emails from the from the public? Madam President, we do not have any uh, emails. Somebody want to make a comment? Oh. All right, with, if there's no other comments, the chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. So motion. I have a motion by Second. Mr. Mulroy, seconded by Mr. Trewasser. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.